Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a bonus daily vibe. So we're just gonna see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we have for a message today? Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles just came out. Ten of Cups about happiness. It's about abundance. It's about a relationship, a happy relationship. Two of Pentacles is juggling, going back and forth, trying to find balance. We have somebody here that's trying to find balance. Maybe they're trying to balance their job or the relationship or they're trying to make a choice in regards to what they want in a relationship or who they want even. Two of Pentacles is a realignment. It's a geometric power that is realigning somebody to their happiness. But there's a choice that needs to be made. What is actually going to bring that happiness? You have to choose. You have to choose. You have to choose your happiness. You have to choose what you want. So we have somebody here that is in a position where they need to take another step. Right now, they're, they're unsure, they're indecisive about what they want. It feels like something has been dropped in their lap, you know, and they need to choose. Um, so this is a choice. It's a choice about happiness. What is happiness? Tens are completions. You may have the end of a relationship here. Strength. Strength is a card of willpower, discipline, courage, perseverance. grace. We have the infinity sign twice so far. So something coming back around. I believe there is something that is coming back around. What goes around comes around. There's some sort of karma here as well. Somebody may be in a, a karmic relationship. There's a need to find their strength to let go. Somebody needs to let go of something. Because right now it's too much with that two of pentacles. It's like if you want balance, there's something that you need to let go of. Maybe a relationship where there's there used to be happiness, but I'm not sure there is anymore. The Ten of Cups is now in the past. We got somebody here that looks a little upset. They look a little, well, it's unhappy. Okay, take a look at that person's face. This person's not happy. They may be forced to make a choice because things are too chaotic. This is, it may be, you know, it's a little bit much. But the strength is a card of uh, courage, finding the courage and the confidence and the strength to do something gracefully. So somebody may be doing something gracefully. Brave, brave, somebody needs to be brave. Nine of Wands reversed. Now the Nine of Wands reversed is somebody that is experiencing a lot of life challenges. They have been avoiding confrontation, avoiding the challenge. So we do have somebody here who has been avoiding change. It's underneath the Two of Pentacles. Somebody has been avoiding change. They have been dealing with a lot of life challenges. 
something about giving up. It's hard to give up. It's hard to give in. There's pride and ego in the way. Somebody's pride and ego is keeping them, you know, bound to something. And I don't, I don't need the devil card to see that. I, there's, this is extreme pride. It really is, especially right next to the strength card. Judgment. Judgment is making a judgment call. There could be some truth that is coming out, some truth that is being revealed. Being held accountable. You know, this is the end of things. This is the final verdict. Acceptance. Transcendence, right? This is the end of things, making a life-changing decision based on the truth. This is also karma. So we do have some karma here. This is this is awaken an awakening of some sort. Somebody may be going through an awakening. we have somebody here that is finding their courage to make a life-changing decision they've been avoiding challenge they were in a relationship that at one time was happy but now and this could be any type of relationship but now they're going back and forth with another choice and it's like this it's it's time it's time to accept the truth because judgment is about accepting the truth doing something brave doing something courageous giving up giving up a stance you know somebody has been holding on to something you know dealing with a lot of challenges probably some karma in their life <laughs> giving up giving up giving up that nine of wands reversed is giving up giving giving something up to have balance somebody needs to give something up to have balance it's 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 going to require discipline it's going to require courage and being honest with themselves judgment is a card of release it really is Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about putting in effort, working hard, working hard to accept. Somebody needs to put in effort. They need to create. They haven't. They have to create their own new life. You know, you have to work hard at creating because Eight of Pentacles is about creating. It's about creating abundance. In order to create abundance. And to have the balance in your life, you have to find your strength to let go of things that hurt you, okay? Because nine of, nine of Wands a wounded warrior, right? I do believe that we have somebody here that is putting in a lot of effort to accept they're going through a period of healing. It's been extremely challenging because they've been going back and forth with a previous relationship that they were once happy with. Nine of swords reversed and the nine of swords reversed is extremely worried there's great 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 personal fear here fear of making the wrong choice fear of putting in effort into something new we have somebody here that is really stressed out extremely stressed out because they've been given a new opportunity 
and they and they're so it's so difficult to take that step into new territory because they've been probably waiting for something to come back around that has already ended. I do believe that we have somebody here that is giving deep thought to their options, to their choices. They're struggling with accepting that something is over. They have been healing. Healing is happening. But giving up and putting in effort in a new direction It's like a it's like a pride is in the way. It's like it's a it's a blow. It's a blow. It's like a that's what's holding this person back. It's the rejection. It's time to accept the truth. I also feel like we have somebody here that is awakening of some sort going through an awakening going through some sort of awakening they have some extreme regrets somebody has some extreme regrets that judgment card is pointed right at the nine of swords reverse there's karma here we have somebody here that is receiving a lot of karma May, may have something to do with their job or their work. You know, they may not be, they may be experiencing challenges with their work or challenges in their, in their finances, you know, in their books because of their previous actions. Knight of Wands reverse. That is reckless behavior, inappropriate behavior. We have somebody here that uh, is is doing something. It's like they're creating something out of uh, the Knight of Wands reverse. That is that is forceful energy, competitive energy. Oh my God! Next to that Nine of Swords, crazy behavior, doing something crazy. Uh, like a hit and run type of thing we got somebody here that is doing something without thinking they may end up in court they and this is a whole nother message they may end up in court they there could they could they could they could end up in with there's some sort of karma here cost them somebody's gonna is doing something they're unbalanced I do feel like we have somebody here that is doing something. They're wounded out of pain. They're do and this is an another whole message. Somebody is creating something from their pain. It's like they're and it's malicious. I feel like there's some sort of malicious behavior here. It's almost like somebody's trying to take karma into their own hands. They're trying to do something, you know, because they're wounded. This person is unbalanced. So that's another whole message. Creating karma. Eight of Pentacles right next to the Judgment card. We have somebody here that is creating their own karma. They're creating it by not thinking before they act. By not making a choice that is best for everybody involved. Which is interesting. I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to control. They're trying to control an outcome as well.
I feel like we have somebody here that doesn't have good intentions. I feel like this person is going to be doing something from their pain, you know? They're acting out of their pain. Interesting. King of Cups reverse. This is somebody that does not have good inten intentions, that is emotionally withdrawn, that doesn't communicate well, that cannot master their emotions. We do have somebody here that cannot master their emotions. This person is looking for attention, attention seeking, very distraught, depressed, angry entitled we do have an entitled individual here that is trying to control a situation this person is unbalanced and that's another whole message life-changing decision can't take it anymore can't take it anymore doing something without thinking. We definitely have somebody here that can't take it anymore. They've reached, it's almost like they've reached the end of the rope. Their emotions are all over the place. They've been trying to find balance. They want happiness, but I feel like their, their happy relationship is over. And they're going to be doing something. And it's they're brave. This person is brave. This person is definitely brave. But they're also hurt. So this person, I feel like we have somebody here that is acting out of their pain. They're making a life-changing decision. They've been dealing with a lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. Probably some karma as well. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is a yes answer, a new investment, taking an opportunity, a stable, solid opportunity. Somebody is being given an opportunity. They may do something. They may do something crazy with that Knight of Wands reverse. That's crazy. There could be a sudden departure here with the Knight of Wands reversed. Somebody does is taking. They are taking a golden opportunity. And I feel like they've been extremely stressed. It goes from the Two of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. So they are choosing. A choice is being made. I think it's... I think that this choice is being made um, spontaneously. Somebody may be deciding to put in effort to one thing instead of two. Their choice is being made. This person has really been struggling with giving up one to have the solid, you know, they couldn't have both. It's like you can't have your cake and eat it, eat it too, right? You can't have both. You gotta, you have one or the other. So somebody, you can't have both, and this doesn't have to be a relationship. You can't have both. Either you want to be healthy or you want to be sick. You want to be prosperous or you want to be poor. What's it gonna be? You you wanna you wanna have a happy relationship or do you want to live in despair? That's the choice. You have to make a choice. It's your choice, okay? You have to make that judgment call. This is a life-changing decision. Are you brave or are you courageous? Are you weak or are you strong? That's the choice. You can't have both. You can't do both. You can't, you know, either you want happiness or you, or you want uh, sadness. The choice is yours. You, The choice, the two, two of pentacles is a choice. You have to take that step. You have to take that step. So we have somebody here that has been reluctant to take to make that judgment call because it's a life-changing decision. You have to put in the effort. It's going to be work. It's going to be a lot of work to create that new life. So we have somebody here that is really struggling with change. They want happiness, but it's going to be work. And it's going to take courage. 
and you're going to have to choose one or the other. You can't have both, okay? You can't have both. If you want balance in your life, you have to choose to have balance. You have to choose, you have to choose it, okay? You have to choose to be honest with yourself. You have to choose to um, be real, be practical. There's no illusion here. There isn't. There's no cups here. You have to be practical. You have to be real. You have to take steps towards success. Well, there's a ten of first card out. It's a ten of cups, but it's in the past. It's in the past. If you want happiness, if you want happily ever after, you have to, you have to choose it. You know? You can't waste your time. I think now. <laughs> think now. Act now. Think now. You, somebody hasn't been thinking really, or they have been thinking, but they haven't been taking action. But that Ace of Pentacles is a huge opportunity. It's a gift. It's something real. It's something solid. Ace of Swords. Well, two aces right together. Ace of Swords is taking a new approach. It's a new idea. It's awakening. It's a wake-up call. It is communication. It's an epiphany. It's seeing the truth. It's clarity. It's taking the power. It's taking... We got... This is a new beginning. It really is. We got somebody here that is about to take a new approach. They are about to... Uh, Honor the truth, see the truth, speak the truth. Investing in a new opportunity Suddenly, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles is about give and take. It's about getting what you deserve, right? It's about going after what you deserve. It's about fairness. Doing the right thing. Bringing balance to a situation. Getting something that you asked for. A generous offer, giving, giving to receive. Somebody's going to be putting in effort. They are. They're going to be putting in effort to balance out their lives after they have been waiting with that nine of wands reversed and the nine of swords reversed. Nines are about closure. They haven't been able to close something, you know. These are both reversed. They haven't, they've, they've been... Uh, waiting for another chance with somebody that, I don't know, rejected them? But this is a positive change, right? This is, this is, this is going in a new direction. That cycle is over. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter. This is the end. It's the end. Okay, we have somebody here that is headed towards some sort of prosperity where they're going to get reciprocation, where they're going to get what they deserve. Now, you think about karma, okay? We have karma here for sure. We do. With, with this card and the judgment card and those infinity signs, there's karma here, okay? There's judgment. There's Somebody is, is being judged. They have been judged. They've been judged and they're still being judged. They're being judged for the decisions that they make and they feel like they've been losing money or something like that. But now in order to get what you deserve, you have to take the golden opportunity and make a choice based on integrity, based on the truth, based on the facts. Anyhow, 
I feel like this is the end of a cycle. Somebody is definitely choosing. I think this is a choice to go after what they deserve. They're good, they've, they've received an offer or they're about to receive an offer that is very abundant. It's real. It can bring them balance. Ace of Swords is taking that new approach, taking the power, seeing the truth. Oh my God, I wasted so much time. Accepting the truth. This is like taking from one and giving to another to find balance, choosing, choosing. Somebody is definitely making a choice in regards to their happiness. I think it's been a very difficult choice, extremely difficult, because it's going to require so much hard work. It is really going to require a lot of hard work. But it leads to something solid, something stable, reciprocation, equality. There could be even an increase of abundance, right? An increase with the Six of Pentacles next to the Ace of Pentacles. This, the Ace of Swords is the truth. It's like the, the Sword of Truth. Once somebody takes their power and honors the truth, they start to receive abundance. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's everything changes. This is a positive change. It is. This is the Wheel of Fate that has spun somebody in a new direction. Accept it. Accept the change. Stop going back and forth. Stop wasting your time. This is for you. It's not for your other person it's for you you have a better offer here a better opportunity here that is more balanced with your truth and your value but if you choose to live in a desperate situation, that's your choice. Good luck.